Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today I'm here to tell you about the Balearic Islands. We think they are amazing islands, really sensational places that are located in Spain. They are much easier than the Greek islands to get to, to get around. The price is a little lower and they are just as beautiful. Many people don't know them, so we decided to come here to show a little bit of them and tell you how was our itinerary through this island. So we went through Barcelona. Barcelona, which is not the island, but was our base, and Ibiza, Mallorca, and Menorca, and Formentera. They are sensational places. From the pictures and videos, you will notice that. And I will tell you quickly here how was our travel itinerary. So, in case you want to plan a trip there, you will have a notion of which one you will visit, how many days you will stay, and how to go through all of them. So, it's going to be very quick tips, useful, and without getting down so enjoy the video guys give us a like subscribe to the channel that really helps us a lot and buckle up Well, many people when they talk about islands, blue sea, dreams, it's common to think of the Greek islands. People who want to go to Greece, Santorini and Mykonos, but there are some islands in Europe, especially in Spain, that are incredible. In fact, we ended up knowing them and we don't understand why tourists, people there in general, don't talk about them so much, which are the Balearic Islands. The most famous of them and the one that everybody knows is Ibiza. Everybody associates Ibiza with partying, with shows, with partying in general, Ibiza is one of the most beautiful places in the world, the beaches, the natural places that are incredible, even for those who don't like excitement, it's a place that's worth visiting and there are other islands that we also found very nice and that we hardly knew about before, which are Mallorca and Menorca, they are all very close folks, Ibiza and Mallorca are the biggest and Menorca is a little bit smaller, but they are all very close and there is one last one called Formentera, which is the smallest of them all, but it was the most beautiful beach I have ever visited in my life, and in the world at least in my opinion. We have already visited Greece, to the Caribbean and to several other places, but Formentera, I don't know why, when you get there on the beach, it's an incredible island, the sea, it's small, it's very quiet, there's not much, but the beach and the whole island there, their natural, is wonderful. So from the video and the picture, you will get a little bit of an idea, but they are really places that are worth visiting. And the nice thing is that they are more accessible places than the islands in Greece. You need a little more logistics, they are far away, you have to drive from a long time, roads to get there, it's a little more difficult. We found the logistics very easy and the prices are also cheaper, because they are not very popular places, except for Ibiza of course, because many people want to go there, but the others are more accessible and the price is good, so we decided to tell you here how was our itinerary. This video now I will focus quickly on the personal itinerary, how many days we stayed, how we made our way there, but we are creating the next videos which will be the explanation about what to do in each island, what to do in Ibiza, where to stay in Ibiza, all the tips for Ibiza and all the tips for Mallorca and all the tips for Menorca, so you know exactly how everything works and you can plan your entire trip. Well, we ended up doing a 16-day itinerary through Spain. We decided to arrive in Barcelona because you need it, and usually the best strategy is to take the big airport, so you can get a direct ticket, a direct flight from your country or from the city you are in. So usually Barcelona and Madrid are the cities that have the most flights, so it's good to try to see this strategy of arriving in one of them. We took Barcelona because we wanted to know Barcelona, and it's also an incredible place and very worthwhile. We ended up staying 5 days in Barcelona which was worth it. You can get to know everything there and from there you can take a plane to any of these 3 main islands, Ibiza, Mallorca in Menorca or a ferry, both from Madrid you can get planes easily, they are smaller planes. 
But the companies there are super used to it. They are smaller companies, low cost, they call it. And then the flight is much cheaper. These are internal flights. They are very cheap, so it end up being very worthwhile. There's the option of the ferries, which are giant ships that take people. In Greece, we use it, the ferries a lot. But in the Balearic Islands, it was not necessary to use it because the price of the plane was a little more expensive and it was much faster. Just so you have an idea to go from one island to the other that we're talking about, it takes about 40 minutes by plane. All of them have airports and also from Barcelona to one of them, the time spent is a little longer, an hour, an hour and ten, which is not long either. And by ferry, the trip takes six hours, five hours. So we think that's very worthwhile to use airplanes there because the flights are cheap, fast and easy to do the routes. Ah, guys, any doubt you have about traveling, any doubt at all, send it to us and we'll really help you. And even easier, add me on Instagram, at PyLorenzi. Send me a direct message there, then I'll really help you and take the time to follow us. We're always traveling around the world, trying to show the travel tips in a very cool way and the family routine with our little ones that are a blast. And we are in Orlando now. This is our studio here in our house in Orlando. We have been living here for a few months now and we are showing all the dynamics with American Life, Disney Parks, Universal Shopping, food, education and everything, everything at all. So the content is very cool, I'm sure you'll like it. So, leaving Barcelona, we chose to start in Ibiza, which you will see on the map here is the island that's further down, but there are also people who sometimes like to start in Menorca, which is up there, Menorca is in the middle, so it's usually in the middle of the trip. We chose to start in Ibiza, we stayed 5 days in Ibiza, because we were with a couple of friends and we didn't have children yet, we wanted to enjoy the parties a lot, to see the festivals there and the beaches too, so we ended up staying 5 days and it was more than enough. We visited two or three nightclubs and the other days we reserved to do some sightseeing so it's worth staying five days because there's Formentera. Formentera guys is a very nice island, very beautiful indeed, we were very impressed, it's close to Ibiza. We took a boat and did the 40 minute trip, you leave Ibiza in the morning, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, you get there and enjoy the whole day. We enjoyed the day on the beach and then returned to Ibiza so in one day in Ibiza we spent to get to know Formentera, there are people who like to stay in Formentera, you can stay one, two days there because the beach is beautiful, there is not much there, the island is much smaller, there are no parties, discos, many restaurant options, no tourist structure, it's more like nature. But there are people who like it and I think it's worth it. After having known it, maybe I would have stayed at least one night there to enjoy two full days because it's a beautiful place. So it's an option too, but we ended up not staying. But if you can stay, stay there in Formentera and then go back to Ibiza and take the flight to the next island. Then the next island on our list was Mallorca, which is a very big island just like Ibiza. There are several cities inside the island, so it's not very easy to locate important people for all these islands car rental is essential because the transportation is precarious there are not many public transportation options buses and cabs are very hard to get so the car ends up being the best option but it's very easy and very good it's very cheap you arriving at the airport that's why we also like to do the trip by plane because you arrive at the airport of each of the islands you already reserve the rent the car at the airport there are the main rental companies you get the car and it's very fast you will need to have your national driver's license for your valid country and your passport and then you can rent it easily. Driving is very easy and the islands are big to go to the beaches, to go shopping, to go to the supermarket. All of this for you to visit several places. It's important to have a car and to go from the airport to the hotel. So this is a tip that we recommend and a personal golden tip, rent a car in advance. Don't leave it to do on the spot because the cars sell out. There are practically no cars when you get there on the spot. Do it online. You will pay much cheaper and guarantee your car and don't do it directly through the rental companies. Use the car comparator, it's a tool, I'll leave the link below in the description of the video for you. It's a website that compares prices at all car rental companies around the world for each airport in case you put there the city you're going to visit and then it will give you all the prices and options. It's much cheaper than in the car rental companies themselves because they are the biggest in the world, it's a giant comparator and it has a very strong negotiation with the car rental companies. It ends up finding very good price, it's the cheapest place of all to rent, so we use it a lot to rent in all the islands, so rent is the way, there's no way, these islands are big and the car is essential. 
And then Mallorca is a little bit big. There is the city of Palma, which is also called Palma de Mallorca, which is the main city. But there are some other regions. We stayed in Magaluf and we liked it a lot. It's a livelier region for those who are looking for a little more partying and bars. And there are others that are more for those who are focused on the beach. So there are plenty of options in Mallorca or you have to study a little bit better where you're going to stay. We ended up staying three days there and we liked it a lot. We were able to do a lot of things there. And going to the last island, which is the island of Menorca, we also took a plane leaving from Palma, from Palma de Mallorca, which is where the airport is, to the airport of Menorca. So I think it took 30 minutes. This trip is a little bit closer than Ibiza. It's very fast. And then from Menorca, we took the car and went to our hotel. We stayed three for three days uh, in Menorca. There are not many clubs, shopping centers, place to shop, restaurants. It's much more focused on the beaches, which are beautiful. So it's a more quiet place. It's the part of the trip where you will relax for those who are with children. It's very nice. There are several hotels with structured private beaches that are close to the hotel. So you can spend the whole day there playing, diving. It's a very nice place for the family. We liked it a lot. We ended up not taking any other tours because we stayed three days and got a hotel that had a beach and was not expensive. It was a hotel with a very good price. There were several apartments. I'll even leave the link here in the description of the video for you to search. It's a very cheap hotel very nice organized it's clean and it has a private beach which is closed only for those who are in the hotel which is sensational it looks like a giant pool of that European sea where the water is transparent we bought the goggles for diving and snorkeling we spent the whole day there diving observing the variety of fishes on the beach having a drink because there's a small bar right there on the sand the hotel's own bar so we really used to rest and relax we consider it a very nice destination to finish the trip to really rest and then you come back to reality it's a perfect place to finish the trip and then after Menorca, we went back to Barcelona and then we took our flight back to Brazil. This is more or less the itinerary we did. You can create your own. Our tip, research. Because sometimes there will be a very cheap ticket to Madrid. Go to Madrid. Enjoy two days in Madrid and then go to Barcelona if you want or go straight to the beaches. It depends a lot on the style of each person. But this order is more or less. Or you will start in Ibiza and do Ibiza, Mallorca and Menorca. Or you will start in Menorca, Mallorca and Ibiza. And just to finish the video, guys an important piece of information about these islands destination in Europe both these and the Greek islands the Italian islands these are beaches places it's good to go in the summer the European summer is at its peak in July and August but at the end of May it starts to the mass months to go in my opinion are June the end of August and September when the summer is already over now if you want to get the peak of the excitement of the European summer it's July in the beginning the first half of August that's when the summer excitement happens Happens. Everything is open, there are concerts, festivals, the beaches are crowded, then you can enjoy everything. But if you want to save a little bit of money and see everything a little less busy, try there after the second half of August. We went in the end of August and first week of September. It was very good because we got everything working, all the attractions and everything a lot emptier and cheaper than the month before, which was very crowded. So try on these dates. In the other months, it works too. You can get good days, even in the winter there, as it's a beach sometimes there are days that you can enjoy the whole year works but there are a lot of things that only really work in the summer so you have to pay attention and you can enjoy all these attractions much better and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give us a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps us a lot and be sure to watch the other videos there is the one with all the ibiza tips the one on mallorca and the one on menorca which are very good they talk about when to go how to go how many days to stay what to do where to stay on each island and finally we explain everything and you will have what to do there on each island so i'll leave this playlist here on the side with all the videos for you to watch and enjoy so thanks a lot guys and have nice trips.